Hi there, today I want to show you something new from Art Impressions. It's called Tri-Folds. It's very unique in my opinion. Um, it does come with four separate stamps. Three of them are going to be your main image stamps and then you have your sentiment stamp. Now each set that you purchase does come with instructions right on the back of your, um, right on the back of the card. So you, if you forget or you've seen a video like mine or you've seen somebody else do it somewhere, you have the instructions on the back of the paper so you know how to do it when you get it home. You will not forget. Um, so it's really simple. You cut your paper here to five and a quarter tall and 11 inches wide, okay? And then you're supposed to score it so that you have three equal folds. Now scoring it can be a little bit tricky. So I like to get out my score pal. Score pal, score buddy. This is the score buddy. And this one in particular I like because it's got that triangle that's in bold right there. So I just take my paper I line it up at the side right there and then equal scores would be right where the triangle is so I just go ahead and score right on that line and then I actually flip my paper over and I score at that same little triangle again and now when I folded it I noticed that this second layer interfered with the first layer when it was closed so you just trim that down a tad bit wasn't anything too serious. And then once you close it, it's all even and it all matches up and it works really nice. Now stamping it can be a little bit of a problem. If you're not really sure about your stamping or how to do it, I would suggest trying it a couple of times on a piece of like copy paper so that you know that you're comfortable with it. Because um, I would hate for you to waste some cardstock. So what I like to do is I like to take the background image and I like to stamp that down first. So I stamp down the background image. Make sure you center it up so that it's even in, the, in between the score lines. And now in your instructions it tells you to actually flip your paper over so that you can stamp the images. But for the second layer I actually like to keep it closed. So I actually fold that one layer closed. And then what I do is I'll take it and I'll hold it up to the light. And I'll take my pencil and I'll mark with my pencil where the image falls so that I can actually see through it to know where that image is. And then once I see where the image is, I've made my pencil lines, then I can go ahead and I can stamp this other image. Now when I open it up to stamp the first image or the third depending on how you do it, I do like to have it open just like this because I like to take this image here and I like to line it up with this image. So in doing that, what I've done is I've taken this, okay, so that stamp is face down and then that helps me line up so that my stamps are even. And these are two different stamp sets. The stamp set that I'm using and the stamp set that's already stamped, they are two different stamp sets. Don't let that confuse you. So what I've done is I've just lined it up so that the water here, or the bushes, do not interfere at all with the trees or anything, or the, the dough or anything that's on here. So after you've done that, what you can do is you can either color it first, which I like to do. I like to color it while the page is whole, and then you fussy cut along the edges. That really is a lot easier than cutting it and then trying to color the pieces when they're a little flimsy. Now if you color it with alcohol inks, just remember that it is possible that if you oversaturate your paper, it's going to leak through onto the back and you will see the image on the back. So if that does happen, what I did is I just took a some acrylic paint and I just painted a layer of white over top of that just to try and conceal it a little bit. But I only did do one layer so that you could see what one layer of paint would look like versus um, you know what it would look like obviously if you just left it. So that's that. This is just an A2 size card so it will fit in a standard envelope. Now another really cool thing is you can take the same stamps and you can stamp them all onto one layer. So it's then just one flat card and it is just you know a normal card. Now this is a five 
this card is square. It's five and a half by five and a half. And you can see again that all the images are stamped onto one layer. So there's no layering involved here. I hope that answers your questions and I hope that that helps you with any questions you may have um, and solves any difficulty that you might run into when you are stamping. Just remember that all the instructions are on the back of your card, all on the back of the you know card that tells you how to do everything. And everything you need is right there and if you have any questions, please feel free to ask.